Hello friends, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink. This is video two of two for the Stamptember exclusive releases. It's Super Saturday. So there are two exclusive releases tonight. I already posted a video with the Hero Arts release. This one is with Inkblot Shop and this is the Life is an Adventure stamp set. Super cute and it just made me think of my kids. <laughs> so that's what I decided to do with this one image is just color it like one of my kids. So I stamped it onto uh, Nina Classic Crest 80 pound cardstock with Simon's Intense Black Ink. And then I colored in this image with Copic markers. And this is a lot faster in editing. Still didn't take very long. These images are really cute. Inkblot Shop has all these cute little characters. They have definitely like a very specific style, very sort of whimsical. And then yeah, their little characters are adorable. I like their big heads. <laughs> I just think they're the cutest things ever. So as I have always done when I'm coloring little people images, I start with the skin and then I go to the hair and then I start doing um, coloring in the accessories and decided to go very girly with these with her outfit and her little hat and everything so purples and pinks and aqua colors and all that stuff so just went along coloring doing my typical like kind of darkest to lightest keeping the coloring pretty simple pretty easy and then once i get to the end of the coloring i am going to add just a little bit of white gel highlights and i'm also going to make her little uh her little long shirt or dress, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm going to add some little polka dots with the gel pen while I'm at it, because why not? And then off camera, I actually stamped. Uh, there's a little moon in the set, and there's also like a little like tent, little tent line and another little character, of course. But off camera, I just stamped moon and colored it and cut that out as well. And I decided I wanted to make a shaker card. I talked about a shaker card in another video and it was like in the back of my head and I was like, ooh, this would be a really cute one just to make a simple little shaker. So I die cut some white cardstock with one of Simon's basic rectangle wafer dies and I die cut a window out of it with a circle wafer die and then I die cut a slightly smaller rectangle and I used that circle just to trace around with a pencil, which I then kind of erased. So you can't really see it on camera, but I could see it in real life just so I could see where... Um, the window will be so I know I'm not just going to stamp any extra little images and I use my anti-static powder tool and I'm stamping the stars from the set there's several little star outline star images in this set and every time I stamp out a couple of them I was coating them with detail white embossing powder which again I don't think shows up really on camera but again I could see it so I would do that just so I could see where they're stamping because when I'm stamping with clear ink on white you can't really see it at all and I just wanted a nice little cluster of stars on this background. And once I was happy with that, I'm going to melt that with my heat tool, which again, doesn't look like anything on camera. <laughs> but again, I could see where they were, but that's as long as they're there, that's all that matters. So once those are heat embossed, I'm just placing this in my little mini uh, waffle flower water medium mat, just kind of hold it in place. And then I'm doing just some simple ink blending with some distress inks. And I used Broken China and Mermaid Lagoon and then Chipped Sapphire. And I'm just blending this on with one of my Studio Caudia ink blending brushes. Just kind of working from lightest to darkest, but I ended up pulling down that chip sapphire quite a bit further because, you know, I'm thinking like night sky. But blending that all on, and then after I blended that, I splattered on some white with my Amsterdam liquid ink and um, a paintbrush just to really add to that starry feel. And then I set that aside to dry. And then on the what will be the front panel with the window cut out of it, I lined that back up in my mini Misty and I, I'm going to stamp the life is an adventure stamp from that set. So I lined that up along the bottom and then I inked it up with that intense black ink. I'm going to stamp that a couple times right along the bottom of this panel. And then once I have that stamped, I flipped it over and then I just have a clear acetate sheet here and I cut it to just slightly, slightly bigger than the window, but smaller than the rectangle here. And once I've got that like cut out, I'm going to adhere that to the cardstock with score tape. So I just place score tape just around the perimeter of this window here. And I just keep uh, placing it and then peeling off the backing so I can stick 
um, score tape on the uh, either side of the window. And then I also kind of went the extra step and placed score tape around kind of each corner there around the circle. A little bit of overkill, but doesn't hurt. So applied all that score tape. And then this way I can now press that acetate into that creating my little window here. Once that's in place, I am going to use foam tape and I doubled up my foam tape so that I only have to lay it in place once. So I've got my foam tape in two layers and I'm gonna place this all, all over the back, but I'm especially going to seal it in around this window so that what I place in for the shaker isn't gonna fall out. So make sure that area is sealed. The rest of it just doesn't matter as long as it's got foam tape on it and you know, it's even so it's like popped up nicely. The rest of it is fine, but I just wanna make sure that the area around that circle is completely sealed up. So I needed just the teeniest bit more to finish off the back of this. And then once I've got this all covered in foam tape, I'm going to pour in my shaker elements, which was some Simon Says Stamp Assorted Moonstone Sequin Mix. Just dumped what I had left in my little container in here. <laughs> so dump that into place. And then this is where I can now flip over that background I ink blended and then line that up, press that into place. And I now have my fun little shaker element. So got that created. So for my little main character and that little moon I did off camera, I'm just gonna adhere those with some thin 3D foam squares to the front of this. And once these are adhered into place, I can then work on the inside of my card. So my card base is Simon's soft navy cardstock that I scored at five and a half, in, five and a half inches. So it's a top folding A2 card. And I white heat embossed the reach for the stars sentiment in the set onto the inside of the card. And then I pulled out some squeeze lemonade distress oxide ink. And I'm just stamping those same stars just here and there on the inside of the card with that ink just to kind of tie it all together. So really just cute and simple and fun. And once that's stamped, then I'm going to adhere my uh, shaker card front to this card base. And I'm gonna use Simon's Craft Tacky glue for that because it gives me that little bit of wiggle room to make sure I get this uh, adhered straight on the card front here. So apply a generous amount of that craft hacky glue and then I can wiggle this around, get this pressed into place. And once this is um, adhered down, this card is complete. So super cute. <laughs> There's something about shaker cards. That sound is just fun. So that's the second video for tonight. Um, as always, these are limited edition stamps are only available while supplies last. So I will have a link to the set along with all the rest of the supplies used and my blog post in the description box below the video if you wanna check it out. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.